Rama, I'm so happy to see you. Yes, Vimal said you were tending to your sick friend. Oh, Aubrey. Yeah, thankfully she recovered. Me, I? Yeah. No. Yeah, of course. Of course, go ahead. It's a boy. I just know it. <laughs> it's healthy. That much I know. Uh, we need to celebrate. Yes, more champagne and sparkling water for you. Sorry. Rama, what is this? Luckily for you, Christian Vega got me pregnant. After everything that we did for that woman, we rescued her from obscurity. Blanca, dear, um... Instead of showing us gratitude, what did she do? She played the most toxic mind games. That woman took off her bikini top. More importantly, <laughs> that woman had me kidnapped and I could have been killed. <laughs> Clearly, Mrs. Kramer, Lord Vickers Buchanan, is forgetting that she dropped all charges against me. Not because you weren't guilty. Now get out of here. No. I am not going anywhere. I am Vicar Man. No, you're not. I am Vicar Man. Well, in name only. I run away with this film. <laughs> All your best parts are going to be on the cutting room floor if you don't run away right now. Out! Mom, we are going to miss all of the fun. Baz and Tomas are going to be here any minute now. I am ready. Thank you. <gasps> wow. You look beautiful. So do you, sweetheart. Stacy, are those the earrings that Dad got you? Uh-huh, aren't they beautiful? Mm -hmm. You gave them to me right before we got married. Mm -hmm. I love them. But I'm not wearing them for your father, I'm wearing for Tomas. Because he painted me in these, and that's when he said that he fell for me. Well, he said that anyway. So things have been better for the two of you. Yeah. He's finally opening up to me about his past, which means maybe we can have a future. Bess, you were eavesdropping on my conversation? Oh, you didn't know? It's pretty lame for a CIA agent. What? He's a spy. I am not a spy. Tomas, you need to come clean. Blair and I already know. You need to tell them. Fine. I was in the CIA for several years. It was a difficult, dangerous time. It still is. Which is why the less said, the better. But that's it? What about Todd? Did you shoot him? No. In fact, your father was trying to stop whoever shot him. And in the process, he got wounded. That's why you were so weird after the shooting. Couldn't say anything. I still can't. And the two of you not to repeat the standing one. Yeah. If you didn't shoot him, who did? And why? This conversation is over. What? We have a premiere to attend tonight. You know what? You're not dressed. <sighs> Listen, Jack, I know that you're upset about what happened to Shane. I'm what happened to her. Mick Payne knows it. But thanks to me, he can't touch you. What do you want? For it not to have happened. Yeah, well, it did. So now you just have to move on. So Seamus, the kid with the limp, his mother gets trapped in a cave where she's almost killed by poison fumes from a deadly stalactite. It was supposed to be Seamus, but it was his mom instead. But then Seamus turns out to be the hero and blasts through the cave and rescues his mother. And then he's supposed to blast the bad guys to the mouth of a volcano and leave them there to boil in a pit of lava. But what's the point? Bad guys never have to pay, not in real life. Just get away with it. Not this time, Shane. I swear to you. It's not that easy, Dad. You can't just decide to feel better when you don't. Yeah, I know. But you can't let it take over your life, either. Look at me, I've made a ton of mistakes, but I gotta live with them. You're gonna have to, too. You don't have a choice. All right, why don't we go see this lousy movie? <clears throat> what if Dick Payne's there? We'll make fun of his haircut. Hey. Hey. Don't cook 
lot, do you? How do you know I had that? Is that a food in prison? Yeah, well, get used to it. I got the DNA sample from Manning. I'm gonna run it over to the lab and put a rush on it. That's a good idea. You can do that on the way to the party. What party? The party that you're gonna go to. I never said I was going to a party. Um, yeah, well, you kind of did. I answered your phone when you were gone. What did I tell you, huh? Didn't I tell you not to touch the phone? Are you out of your mind? No, but let me tell you something. The blonde with the whiskey voice, Natalie's mom, whoo, she is. Let me tell you, she came in here with a stack of towels, right? So I took that towel and I threw it over my head and I pretended to be you and it worked great. So that gave me an idea. When the telephone rang and it was Delgado and he was talking about Todd Manning, I kind of pretended to be you. You know what I mean? What? What the hell is wrong with you? Are you trying to get yourself killed? <laughs> oh, boy. You're beautiful. You look hot. My father just gave me an earful about his past. Did you get any clue on our dad's weird connection? No. Just a lot more questions. All right, well, we're not going to learn anything by standing here. Let's go. Um, no, thank you. Look, I'm not going to try and kiss you, right? I'm just trying to be a gentleman, you know, offer you my arm. Hmm. I've got two of my own. Thank you. If you are any good in this movie at all, it's because of the character that you play. <laughs> Dorian Lord, she's a cipher, a real housewife of Landview, PA, whose only claim to fame is that I play her in a movie of her husband's life. <laughs> you are a cheap impersonator who has gotten by on loose morals, yes, and good lighting. How dare you? I'm Dorian Lord. You're not! <laughs> Live with it, baby, and get out! I'm not going anywhere. Marco, get over here. Oh. Ionia needs help to a cab. Oh. Marco Rivera, Vicar means dreamy director. Marco, don't you want to walk your star down the aisle? You're the director after all. And I'm the executive producer. I say, get out. I'm calling SAG. Fine, I'll call AFTRA. Call him. A lot of good that'll do. I promised you fireworks and Blanca Morales always delivers. Stay with us. The premiere of Vicar Man is moments away. You won't want to miss it. Christian Vega got you this pregnant since yesterday? Yeah, Christian's a very creative person. Listen, he created this baby out of a water balloon. See? Touch it. From a, uh, how could you do this? You told me. No more lies. Yeah? Then why haven't you told your mother the truth? I was working at Foxy Roxy's and my you mom were walked in. Yeah. I need to eat too, you know. I have no one to care for me anymore. Anyway, I was working at Foxy Roxy's and your mom came into the beauty shop and I overheard her talking about her unborn grandchild. And I knew you hadn't been able to tell your parents the truth. So I asked Christian to help create this baby. You did this for me? Pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. Hey, baby. Do I know you? Rick Powers, filmmaker, a tour. Perhaps you're familiar with my oeuvre? Afraid not. Oh, well, you will be. Very soon. Hey, hey, hey. Isn't that, isn't that the porno guy? Hey, hey. What's wrong? And look who just arrived. Two of the many beautiful women in Todd Manning's life. How could one guy get so lucky? Jack Manning got away with murder because his father is rich and powerful. But now we are too. I've set up a company in your mother's name. I'm using it to go after them. I'm going to bankrupt them, Shane. Okay, I promise you. So they'll be poor. So what? Mom will still be dead.
don't understand this. You have a bullseye on your head. You could have got everybody in this building killed. I was just trying to help. Delgado said he had some information. What exactly did he say? Oh, well, look who's interested now. Yeah, I'm interested. Okay. Well, Delgado said that you could meet him at the palace because there's a movie premiere tonight. You need to explain everything then. So you better get going. Oh, you got to change. It's black tie.